Welcome to the Solid Phase Peptide Synthesis Series, made by Dr. Naomi Lee's research group at Northern Arizona University. In this video, we will be discussing how to conduct an anhydrin test and how to interpret the results. An anhydrin test, otherwise known as a Kaiser test, is a reaction we perform to verify if our deprotection and coupling reactions are successful. The premise of this test is to determine the presence or absence of free amines, which we can interpret through the color of the solution and resin at the end of the experiment. The anhydrin test involves three reagents. Reagent A, which is potassium cyanide and pyridine, reagent B, which is anhydrin and n-butanol, and reagent C, which is phenol and n-butanol. When these reagents are mixed with beads of resin while heated, the beads in solution will undergo a color change if there are free amines, such as after deprotection, or they will remain colorless when there are no free amines, such as after coupling. Let's look at both of these outcomes. In the cases of a deprotected amino acid, or our deprotected ring amide resin, anhydrin from reagent B will react to form a diketohydrin complex, commonly known as Ruman's purple. This is visibly observed by dark blue or purple beads and solution. When there are no free amines, such as after a coupling, no reaction occurs. This is observed by clear beads and solution. Sometimes, deprotection or coupling is only partially completed, which is observed by either a light blue or clear solution with dark beads, or a dark solution with clear beads. If this occurs, you should reattempt the step before moving on, or if your coupling was only partially successful, you can cap the unreacted ends and continue. If your peptide sequence includes proline, which has a secondary amine, the solution will turn yellow in the presence of a deprotected proline. Before conducting the anhydrin test, you should wash your sample three times with DMF after your deprotection or coupling step, then wash once with DCM to dry the resin. Collect 15 to 20 beads of resin from your sample and put them in a centrifuge tube. Add two to three drops of reagent A, B, and C to the tube before capping and placing on the heat block. Let the reaction heat at 110 degrees Celsius for five minutes. When the reaction is done, analyze the solution and bead color before moving on to the next step of synthesis. If you are satisfied with the results, remember to re-swell your resin in DMF for five to 10 minutes before continuing. 